Hey guys, so today we're going to look at something a little bit different from our usual format. We're just going to go quick overview of what's new in uh, integrated wired and wireless management in IMC's WSM 5.1, which was just released uh, last week. So we're at the, uh, the usual IMC interface, and again, this is a completely integrated module through the, uh, the SOA service-oriented architecture. Um, so what we're going to do here is start out, and we're going to go find ourselves a, uh, an MSM 710 controller that we have previously discovered with IMC. So we're going to go click on Resources, and then go into Device View. Now that we're in device view, we're going to go click on the device view over to the left here. There's a quicker way to get us directly into the wireless devices. And you can see here we've got an MSM 710 controller. We've got the uh, the actual name of it here. And this brings you to the typical IMC resource page. You've got a whole bunch of information here. You've uh, It's obviously on the wireless devices. You've got the version of code that's running here, the firmware version. It's important that you're running 5.7 code for this to work. Um, then you've got your, your typical configuration management here at the bottom. You've got wireless services information as well. So we're going to click on that and we'll get some real basic stats around uh, what this is actually doing right now. So you got a couple of online fit APs. You've got one offline, um, an online client. And also if we scroll down a little bit, you, you'll be able to see the VSCs. So the VSCs is basically just the, uh, the service sets, the uh, SSIDs it's currently um, advertising. So you can see here I've got three uh, three service sets, three wireless services that I'm advertising. I've got WEP turned on on one of them. Um, never use WEP in the real world. Um, please be secure. Anyways, we're going to go over to look at configuration center here. So uh, you guys should be familiar with this by now. Um, we're going to go down to the actual MSM and look at the configuration management. And you can see here that we've already pulled in a configuration. So for this to work, you do have to have the FTP server set up. The MSM does support F FTP um, backup. So please just set that up and uh, you'll be able to, to get this to work. So next thing we're going to do is go look at the actual wireless manager portion. So this is the, uh, the add-on module, the WSM 5.1. And it's got a nice little dashboard here. We've got... Uh, number of access controllers, number of fit APs, number of clients that you've seen during the day, so some real basic information. But let's drill down a little more. We'll go into the uh, the resource management and we'll go click on ACs here. This will show you the list of whatever APs you've discovered. So um, right now I've got one AP in the system. If you had more than that, you can have more show up here. Again, we can go down, open web manager, so this could take you into the MSM interface, which is really where you'd be doing your most of your configuration. And we can look at the fit APs. We can see uh, if it's online, the IP address, the model, um, the software version, hover over software version, you'll get the first version of code. Um, what controller we found this on and the total number of clients that are currently associated with that access point. All right, so maybe now let's go look at the clients. So we'll be able to see some information on the clients here, client, Mac address, um, you know, some additional information. If we hover over the the little signal strength here, you can see the signal strength for that particular client as reported by the MSM controller. You'll also notice there's some additional information, client name in here that's been uh, filled out. So we're going to go into client info management and we'll show you exactly where that is. It's, it's just a little um, the ability to really go into WSM and create a, a human-friendly name associated with a device. So maybe a MAC address only device that doesn't have a .1x client, you can't get a name from it. At least this way you'll be able to know that, hey, that MAC address is actually this HP laptop or that iPhone. So it's a nice little feature that uh, they, they put in, in IMC WSM. And again, we can go click on the ESSS's here. Um, again, same kind of information as the VSCs. It'll tell you exactly, uh, you know, the the actual SSID, number of APs advertising that SSID, number of clients so currently associated with that SSID. The next thing we're going to look at here is the location view. So location views is really, this is 
tied to the uh, the topology maps, and you'll see that in a little bit. So we have the ability here to add in and, and really do a multi-tiered environment so you can have an area, you'll have buildings in an area, you'll have floors in a building, you'll have rooms on a floor, and so on and so on. Right, so um, let's uh, let's go over and take a look at the topology map now, and we'll give you guys a little little uh, little taste of what actually is in the topology map. So, so to get into the topology map, we're going to go resource, network topology, and then click here. So in the network topology, we're we're obviously going to go into the wireless topology here. We're going to open that up, so you can see how in the location views. You know, this is the one that we uh, had set up previously and looked at. You can really nest this and, and get right down into a room inside a given area or building, right? So um, you can see how that location view here kind of nests down. Nice little feature, so you can put uh, different rooms with different location maps. So I've got one already pre-populated here, which is a uh, just a lab environment that I've I've uh, created a a JPEG here to to lay out what the floor plan actually looks like so possible uh, normal office building right so you can see the JPEG is pretty basic I actually built this in MS Paint but you could import any JPEG or uh, I think PNG GIF file in here to be able to basically lay out whatever you want so we also have the ability here to create obstacles so you can see here you know we've got some different obstacles in here different obstacle shapes so you can do a rectangle polyline, regular line, rectangular area, if you've got maybe a uh, an elevator shaft. And of course we've got different types where the RF obstacle is already defined. So this is really going to allow you to really figure out on your heat map, based on your placement of the access points, what RF obstacles are in their way, which will of course affect where your wireless signal is going to propagate to. All right, so one of the things we want to do here is actually set the scale, right? So we're going to go right click and say set scale. This is really important for us to be able to set the wireless signal and and really to to uh, figure out how long the signal is going to propagate from the actual access point. So we're going to just take select a given area, you need a pop-up box, you're going to say okay, whatever the scale is in this case, that that area for me is about a meter and a half. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is go in and look at show sig signal strength for the entire area. And we have some choices here. we got signal, we've got rate, data rate, or by the channel. So we're going to look at just the signal for an 11BGN here. And give it a couple of seconds and the heat map will pop up. There we go. So you can see based on the RF obstacles that I've put in that the, the AP, the signal strength, actually does change depending where you are in the environment. So what's kind of nice about this as well is I can do an additional additional things on the topology map. Um, I can go in and right click again and what I'm going to be able to do is maybe show the uh, show the station. So this will show all the current users who are currently logged onto the wireless and I can even click on that user and again get that RSSI, that signal strength and get some additional information on the user. Right? So that's kind of a nice feature. So I hope you guys found this uh, helpful. Um, looking forward to seeing you next time on the next IMC management tutorial. Thanks guys. See you soon.